this QuickBooks Online training course. And we're going to cover how to import banking transactions into QuickBooks Online. To follow along with me, log into your QuickBooks Online account now or click the link below this video for a free 30-day trial of QuickBooks Online. You can also click this link to access our full QuickBooks Online course and other helpful resources. Let's get started. One of the many benefits of QuickBooks Online is that you can save a lot of time by automatically downloading your banking transactions into QuickBooks instead of manually inputting each transaction. While most big banks like Bank of America allow you to quickly and easily connect to QuickBooks, some of the smaller banks and credit unions do not have that capability. At Fit Small Business, we have a Bank of America account that we sync up with QuickBooks. If you are interested in opening a business checking account, we recommend you check out Bank of America. Click this link for more information. If you don't have a business bank account and you're using a personal bank account, then I recommend getting a separate bank account for your business as soon as possible and then connect it to QuickBooks. It is always best practice from an accounting and tax standpoint to keep business activities completely separate from personal. For the purposes of this video, we will use a fictitious company called Pulse Plumbing. As you view this video, think about how the information might differ for your business. In order to connect your bank account to QuickBooks, you will need your online banking user ID and password to log into your bank account. To begin, after you sign into your QuickBooks online account, from the left menu bar, click on Transactions and then Banking. If this is the first time you're connecting a bank account to QuickBooks, you won't see this screen. Instead, you will see the next screen, which, we will, which will allow you to search for your bank. Click on the blue Add Account button. And in this field, you can type your bank name in the search box, or you can select from the list of banks right below the search box. Paul wants to set up his checking account at Bank of America. If you are unable to locate your bank, then you will need to import your banking transactions using a CSV format, which we will cover later in this lesson. Go ahead and enter your user ID and password that you normally use to access your bank account and click the login button. Depending on your internet connection and the number of accounts that you have, it may take a few minutes for QuickBooks to connect to your bank. Once it does, you should see a screen similar to this one that will list all of your accounts that you have at this bank. You want to place a check mark in the first column next to each account that you would like to connect to QuickBooks. Next, we want to go ahead and select the QuickBooks account that you want to link this bank account to. If you have not set up the account in QuickBooks yet, go ahead and click Add New and we'll go ahead and set up the account in QuickBooks. This is the account setup window with the fields that we need to complete. The first field is the account type. Here we want to select the type of account that we are downloading transactions for. Typically, this is going to be either a bank account or a credit card. We're going to go ahead and set up a checking account, so we will select bank. Detail type. Here you want to provide more information on the type of bank account. Since we're setting up a checking account, we'll select checking. And in the name field, you want to enter your bank name, the type of account, checking, and then you want to also include the last four digits of the account number. This will allow you to easily tell one bank account from another when you are writing checks and reconciling the account. Double check to make sure that you have made all the selections in the fields. And when you're ready, go ahead and click the Save and Close button. Back on this next screen, now you can see that we've got our new Bank of America checking account that we set up in QuickBooks and connecting to this Bank of America checking account. Before you click the Connect button, you always want to double check to make sure that you did not select any accounts that you do not want to keep track of in QuickBooks, for example, personal accounts. Once we click Connect, all transactions will be downloaded into QuickBooks. Unfortunately, there is no automatic undo button. Later on, if you find out that you accidentally selected an account that you do not want connected to QuickBooks, then you will need to manually delete all of those transactions before you can delete the account from QuickBooks. Depending on the number of accounts you have selected and the date range, this process could take a while to complete. Once the transactions have successfully downloaded into QuickBooks, you should see a message that says that we have transactions, like this one here. Once you see that, we are ready to go ahead and 
Click the Let's Go button in the lower right hand corner, which will take us to a page where we can actually review the transactions that downloaded. Here in the Banking Center, we are able to see a tab that says For Review. All of the transactions that have downloaded will appear on the For Review tab. To learn how to manage banking transactions after they are downloaded, watch our video tutorial on how do I manage downloaded banking transactions. To add another account, just click the blue Add Account button here. If you have bank accounts at multiple banks that you want to track in QuickBooks, then you will need to repeat this process for each bank where you have business accounts that you want to track in QuickBooks. That's it for how to automatically connect the bank account to QuickBooks Online. When to import banking transactions using a CSV file. If you were not able to automatically connect your bank account to QuickBooks, or if you need to download more than 90 days of banking transactions, then it is important for you to understand how to import your banking transactions using an Excel format called CSV. To obtain this type of file, log into your bank account and go to the section where you can download transactions or bank statements. Most likely, you will have the option to download your transactions in multiple formats. If you don't see either of these options, CSV or QBO, then contact your bank. Let them know that you would like to download your banking transactions into QuickBooks and you would like to know how to do that from their website. To begin, go ahead and click the drop down arrow to the right of the update button and select file upload. On the next screen, you want to browse to the location where you have saved the import file on your computer. So go ahead and click the browse button. Once you locate the file, you want to go ahead and click on that file and then you want to click open and then we'll go ahead and select next. On this next screen, we want to go ahead and select the QuickBooks account that we want to link to this bank account. Since we've already set up the account in the previous lesson, we'll go ahead and select Bank of America checking here and click next. From this screen, what we want to do is we want to map the QuickBooks Online fields with the fields from the bank statement file. And so what we'll do is we'll go in and we will let QuickBooks know what column the data appears in the file that we want to import the data from. So the first item that we want to take care of is if your CSV file has a header row, make sure to check the box at the top left of this screen. Let's go ahead and map our fields. The first field is the date field. So from the drop down, we want to select the column in the spreadsheet that has the date information. So it looks like that will be column one here. We also have the option to select a date format. So we'll make that selection. The next field is the description. So the description field in the spreadsheet looks like that's going to be column two. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then the last field is the amount field. And so we'll go ahead and select column six where we have the dollar amount in the field here. Now for dollar amount, uh, bank files typically have one column which will have positive numbers and negative numbers. Negative numbers typically represent deposits and the positive numbers typically represent withdrawals. And so you have to tell QuickBooks if your file has one column or two column with the positive and negative numbers in it. So for this particular file, our file has two columns. So we definitely will make that selection and then once we do that, we'll have to let QuickBooks know which column has the positive numbers in it um, and which column has the negative numbers in it. And once we've done that, we can click Next. On this screen, QuickBooks is showing us a list of the transactions that are ready to import. So it's important to make sure that you review this and make sure that all the transactions that you expect to import into QuickBooks are selected here. Um, it's also important for you to verify that the information is correct. Is the date, does the date column show dates? Does the description column show description? Um, does the amount column show amount here? If at any point in time information is not correct or you need to make changes, 
you can go back and do so by clicking the back button. But if you are happy with the selections, you can click next and QuickBooks will let you know how many transactions will be imported. So here, as you can see, we will import a total of 223 transactions. That's quite a bit of transactions to import first time around. So my suggestion is you want to import a small batch of transactions at first. So let's go back and let's remove the check mark for all transactions. And for this particular example, we will just import all of the transactions for the month of January. So that way, if anything goes wrong or information doesn't appear in the right places, we've got a smaller group of transactions to correct. And so we'll go ahead and make those selections and then we'll click next again. And this time around, we've got 26 transactions, so much better. So we are happy with that. Go ahead and click yes and the transactions will import into QuickBooks. And once that happens, we will get a message that says we have been successful. Fantastic, so we are ready to click the Let's Go button. And this will take us back to the Banking Center where we can actually review the transactions on the For Review tab um, that have been imported. To learn how to manage downloaded transactions, please watch our video tutorial on how to manage banking transactions in QuickBooks. If you'd like to add another account, just click the blue button up here at the top, or if you'd like to import a new file with additional transactions, click the file upload option here. That's it for today on how to import banking transactions into QuickBooks Online. To access this course or any of the others in the series, just click this link. For a free 30-day trial of QuickBooks Online, click the links below this video. If you have feedback about this course or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe.